This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on volcanology. It is looking at volcanic eruptions and different types and styles of eruptions based on the different characteristics and different features that each eruption has as scientists have categorized each feature and where they predominantly occur in and refer that back to a certain style or certain type of eruption. Now this links very closely to the VEI scale, which is the Volcanic Explosivity Index from 0 to 8. So 0 being a non-explosive effusive eruption to 8 being a catastrophic, world-changing, massive, violent eruption. And the styles and types link very closely to the VEI scale. If you want to check out the VEI scale video, I put a link in the comments below. So now let's look at the different styles. So let's look at the types in the more generic fashion. So eruption, we're looking at an active volcano with magma and lava spewing out, flowing out of a crater or a crack or a fissure. And we have active lava, ash, and different types and features of an eruption. Now, the types means that it has been categorized. And these eruptions that have been categorized are based on certain criteria, which would be the features. So what's happening during the eruption? Then looking at the magnitude, the size, and the scale, and also the length of the eruption. Now, this does clue in very closely with the VEI scale, which does the same thing, which is a relative scale, which is logarithmic, which means it goes up by 10 times for every increase in number on the scale from 0 to 8. 8 being large, 0 being non-explosive. So the same thing with the VEI scale as with these types of eruptions, but we give them names. Rather than a number, we give them a name. So they're named usually after a famous eruption that kind of pioneered the style or type of eruption that we see here. So how many eruption types are there? So we're looking at different numbers of types. Now some books or textbooks or research journals may state different numbers of types. However, I want to look at 10 types. The 10 types are kind of like more conclusive and includes obviously the main common types of eruptions. So we got Hawaiian, we got Icelandic, which are very similar. We got Strombolian, we got Volcanian, we got Palaean, we got Subplinian, Plinian, and we have Ultraplinian at the end. But these two are our kind of special kinds, uh, Sotsian and Fredoplinian. I'm going to get on to each type and their scale and size. But first, let's put them in order. So this uh, scale or continuum is looking at the increasing levels of explosivity based on the origin type. I'm going to put in the types on this scale and to the left, is going to be the non-explosive and effusive eruptions and then the far right will be the extremely violent explosions and large eruptions. We'll start with the non-explosive and effusive. Effusive means just mostly the gas is released consistently and non-violently and that would lead the lava to flow out. So this would relate to a low silica more basaltic magma with a very certain kind of volcano usually shield volcano. Looking at Hawaiian and also Icelandic. So these types are on the left hand side and they are going to be a VEI of around 0 to 1. Then we got two eruptions types. This is Strombolian and Volcanian. Now Strombolian is usually on the more non-explosive side and Volcanian you're getting into the more explosive. Now uh, in terms of the VEI, VEI of the Strombolian would be around a 2. And Volcanian will be a VEI of a 2 to 3. So the next set of eruption types is going to be more in the explosive range, a very explosive range, looking at a VEI of a 3 to 4. Now, this would be Palaean, based on Mount Pele in Martinique. And the other one, which is, again, very explosive, would be Plinian, which is based on Plenty of the Younger's accounts of Mount Vesuvius eruption in AD 79, Italy. 
Plinian is more of like that, that generic eruption whereby it's very explosive, very a large amount of features are included, and it's very, very violent. And there's a range, so I put a little range here of Plinian and where it would fall on the scale. So in terms of VEI, that also is reflective of the variation and range of size. So this could be a VEI-4 Plinian eruption, or it could be a VEI-6. Now, these is 100 times different. Vesuvius itself was a VEI-5 eruption, but this Plinian refers to a large eruption of, of a varying VEI-4 to 6 range. And if we go further into the more extreme violent explosive side of the, of the scale with eruption types looking at ultra plinian now ultra plinian is a term for just an exaggerated more aggressive more violent form of plinian whereby it would last longer the plume and ash cloud would go higher into the stratosphere more volume or ejector volume and it would link up to a vei 6 up to an 8 so very catastrophic world-changing events, volcanoes like Toba and Yellowstone and Krakatoa and Tambora would be in this range of eruption types. Now the Sertsayan eruption type would be a VEI 4 to 5 range. This would be a larger ash plume and ejector volume. However, the Frito Plinian would be the addition of volatiles and be more explosive, more energetic eruption. And again, it has the Plinian term, so looking at anything above four, up to maybe even a six or seven, based on the eruption. But you have the addition of other water and volatiles to make the magma and the eruption even more violent. Now, sub-Plinian would be in a range of VEI between a three to four, based on various characteristics, plume, ejector volume, plume height, and uh, tephra deposits, but subplinian would be it's a smaller version, obviously, of plinian. Now, the effusive uh, eruption types are the ones that have more of a lava flow with decreased percent of gas content. That was due to the lower viscosity and lower silica content, which would make it more fluid and allow the gas to escape. So you have a limited or non-explosive eruption. You would have larger volumes of lava, okay, more basaltic lava, more basaltic lava, and you would get off a shield volcano or a fissure volcano. Sometimes you might have a cinder or scoria have that, but that generally has a larger ash cloud, but it's not as explosive. And these two types are Hawaiian and Icelandic. Icelandic is with fissures. So now we're into the explosivity uh, index, like the level. So we're looking at Strombolian, and we're also looking at Volcanian. Now Strombolian is typically from Mount Stromboli, which is in Italy, and it's a small island, oft, small island off the west coast of Italy, and it is pretty much consistently erupted. So back in the olden Roman Empire times and during the old medieval and, and uh, historical times in the Mediterranean, this volcano was always erupting, therefore was given the term or the name, the lighthouse of the Mediterranean, but Med. So there we have it, we have consistent erupting. We have bouts of lava and fountains of lava as it's still sort of basaltic and very mafic of magma. We have some ash cloud, okay, we have some larger ejector, so larger volume of ejector. And this would be in the VEI 2 to 3 range. Now, with Volcanian, this again comes from, it is named after Volcano, which is a volcano, uh, again, in Italy, which is also next to Stromboli. This one is larger, so there's more ash, more violence, and more noise, given that it could also add water into the mix, which would then make it phoretic in nature. So you can have more explosive, more violent eruption, and you would get a more powerful event, VEI three to four. 
So we're getting more, more tephra, more deposits, and increased magma. So that's both Strombolian and Volcanian. Now Volcanian also comes as named from the Roman god of fire. And also you can add in here some subplinian eruption types, but they are, they're definitely more on this side, on the Volcanian side and the higher explosivity side than Strombolian, but larger ash clouds and tephra. So now we're into the high ex explosivity types of eruptions. Now, Palayan is based on Mount Pele, and this was a VEI 4 stroke 5. And it was based on a very large ash cloud, lots and lots of lava, tephra, and deposits. Looking at atmospheric interruption, atmospheric 10, 25 kilometer ash cloud on tephra. And this was famous because of the Noir Ardente. Now this is basically a glowing cloud, which refers to a pyroclastic flow or pyroclastic cloud, which is a ash cloud material, which obviously initially goes up with the eruption, but then gravity takes it down and forces it and brings it down the side of the volcano at speeds of over 100 miles an hour at temperatures over 800 to 1000 degrees centigrade. So extremely dangerous feature of this or a volcano, which is classically now called Palaean type. Now we move into Plinian. Plinian is our VEI-5. Now sub could be in between these two with varying ranges of ash clouds and tephra and material and ejecta. But Plinian is based on Mount Vesuvius in AD 79. And the Romans didn't know what hit them really and destroyed two cities, which was Herculaneum and Pompeii. And this was classically a very violent, long-lasting, Eruption, paraclastic flows, and put PF. We had lava, we had ash clouds, we had lahars, we have various landslides, possible tsunamis, and obviously earthquakes. This is a very large, intense, and very scary volcano eruption type. Ash clouds over 25 kilometers altitude. It's looking at both tropospheric and stratospheric changes and fluctuations. And this is gonna happen two to three times per 100 years. So this is a, even though it's a large eruption, it's kind of common. Mount Pinatubo in 1991, Mount Vesuvius, Mount St. Helens in 1980. So there's been some very famous accounts of a BEI-5 had Plinian eruption type. Now into Fredo Plinian. Fredo means water. So you add in water, you add in volatiles. Now this is going to make the eruption louder and more explosive. So the magma and the actual eruption is going to be more energetic. The ash cloud is going to be up to and including 40 kilometers in altitude. This is a smaller VEI, but this is going to be a, a, a very large ash cloud, which can initially cause a very large eruption, but overall wouldn't be as big as, say, a classic Plinian. Now, another type of volcanic eruption that has these paraclastic flows are, are classically that are linked or associated with this type of volcanic eruption is a Asertsian or Asertsian. This is Icelandic. It's a small VEI, but it does have pyroclastic flows and clouds that are linked, that are very common in this type of eruption. Now, best to last, most extreme, most violent, most highest level eruption type on this explosivity scale, which is the Ultra Plinian. Now, this is reserved only for VEI eruptions that are above six to eight, and these are historical eruptions. These change climate, these devastate, the areas around the volcano within a matter of 50 to 100 miles. You're looking at death and devastation. You're looking at years of recovery. It's like a massive hurricane or huge earthquake, looking at years and years and years of recovery around that area. Now, in terms of the climate changing, the world events, that can also hinder economic growth, industry growth, population, civil unrest, you name it, it's just not very, not very good situation. In terms of the science, looking at over 55 kilometers of an ash cloud, that is going to consume the majority of the stratosphere. It's going to involve the jet streams. It's going to circle the Earth within a few 
days perhaps. It's going to change weather. It's going to change climate, as I mentioned. It's going to change the ability for the atmosphere to actively maneuver and transfer heat around the Earth. It's going to change sunlight, which is going to change photosynthesis. So the knock-on effects from that are insane. Looking at the ejector volume of these types of volcanoes being in the tens of cubic kilometers, up to a thousand cubic kilometers of ejector volume. Huge amounts of tephra and deposits, which are all at acidic. It's looking at pollution of water and the acidification of water. Looking at the blast, the initial blast. Looking at all these features like the Haas, looking at earthquakes, looking at landslides. As an example, you've got Toba supervolcano, you've got Yellowstone supervolcano, you've got Long Valley in, in the US, you've got Crater Lake also in the US. So you've got these massive examples of large, usually calderas that have this ultra Plinian type eruption that involve the VEI six to eight scale, which are usually in the range of one every thousand years, thousand to one every 10 thousand years. In reality, that's not too long between a major world-changing event. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again.